hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux currently version 2024.4 on any apple silicon mac first let's search for utm mac and then head to this page mac.getutm.app from here we can download utm for mac and it should start downloading after downloading utm for mac we also need to download our kali linux image file so let's open a new tab and then head to kali.org now click on the download button and right here we can click on installer images now you can see installer image for intel and apple silicon mac so select installer image for apple silicon arm64 and then click on the recommended installer to download after downloading both Kali Linux and UTM, we can then close our browser and then open our download folder. So here we go, this is our UTM and this is Kali Linux installer file. Now let's install UTM by double clicking on it. Drag UTM and drop it in applications. Now we can close this window. Also eject UTM from your desktop. and we can now run it from our launcher so let's search for utm and here we go let's open it open first we're going to create a new virtual machine by clicking on the plus icon so let's create and we're going to select virtualize which is faster and we're going to use it to run our native ARM64 image file instead of using the emulate option where we can run x86 64-bit images now let's select Linux as the operating system let's browse our image file right there under boot ISO and select Kali Linux installer ARM64 file open now continue here you can set your memory which is your RAM and you can also set the CPU cores as well. I'm going to use 4 cores since I have 16 on this Mac and then we can continue. Here is the storage you can set it to whatever you want. For this I'm going to give it around 40 gig which should be enough. Now you shouldn't give more than 40% of your PC resources to your virtual machine. Continue. Here you can set a name for your virtual machine. I'm just going to call this Kali Linux 2024.4 Save Now before we run our machine, we have to make a few changes So right click on your machine and edit So you can see the details of our machine Under system, you can see the architecture and everything else From here you can change the cores or the RAM as well Now click on new under devices and then select serial this is going to open the terminal by the side and then we can now use this to install. So let's save that and then run. Now select graphical install. Now you should have a display issue where it shows just a blank black screen. But with the serial we added, it is going to show a terminal by the side where we can run the installation. So if you look by the side, you can see the terminal down there. So let's just proceed through here so select the language for the installation i'm going with english and then continue set your country and continue set your keyboard layout and continue now just proceed with the default host name kali for the domain we're going to leave it empty and continue enter a full name for this user continue enter your username as well continue enter your password as well and it should start setting up the installer now select your time zone and continue we're going to go with guided partitioning which is going to use the entire allocated storage and then we're going to select our storage which is visible there continue all files in one partition continue with that Finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Continue. Select yes to enable and write changes to disk. And it should start installing the base system. 
After a couple minutes, you're going to get this prompt to select a default desktop environment. By default, it is set to Xface, but you can change it to GNOME or KDE Plasma. So whichever you like, I'm just going to proceed with Xface. The installation is complete. Now click on continue to reboot. Now let's power down our machine. Okay. Close this. Now if you scroll down, you can see under CD slash DVD. Let's eject our ISO so clear. Now we can boot directly to our machine without the installer ISO. Now enter your username and password and then log in. So basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux version 2024.4 on your Apple Silicon Mac. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.